everyone. Julia here recording this. January 16th, 2024. By one of the calendars anyway, the most common one. Um, having another day like my friend Yui likes. Kind of warm. 62 degrees Fahrenheit at sunrise and humid and foggy not as foggy today in the direct vicinity but overall yeah I'd say it's more cloudy than foggy as opposed to yesterday but yeah I was just going to give an update on Mace Energy Method and again I have a my follow-up on Thursday with Cherie Hatfield at Mace Energy Method. And uh, I feel real privileged to have had a session by her because she's been doing it the longest of anyone, I think, besides this other man named John Avery for 19 years. So, yeah, it's always good to have that experience. And she's just... Uh, you can tell a genuine, authentic, caring soul. And that's what it all goes back to. You know, I don't think anybody that wasn't that way would get into this area of helping people. So, yeah, I definitely recommend it. For most things, it's only a one-session deal. You know, depression, anxiety, whatever. Addiction. You know, they can usually get to it in one session from what I understand at this point but I haven't really researched it a whole lot and at most two or three sessions and uh, man compared to what every other modality puts you through either money wise or time wise or both you just can't beat it in the simplicity of it so can't recommend it enough if you want to wait till I become a practitioner and have a session from me <laughs> You're welcome to do that as well, if you're not in a rush. And, uh, yeah, I will manifest the money somehow for the training because I just feel called to do it. And that was the same way I was with biofield tuning. And, uh, yeah, I have no regrets with that. And I know I won't with this either. So, pretty excited. One of the things I was asked is you know how would I like to feel and I said I'd like to feel content and energized and uh, you know that's definitely been the case since my session very energized you know I've always I've worked a lot on my depression so I do feel content most of the time already anyway but it has taken some of those lows and made them less low or gone you know that you have sometimes those ups and downs and moods so yeah I'm just very very impressed I'm very stoked about learning more and getting word out about this kind of modality that's the bottom line you know people who really want help it's there and those are the only people that are gonna get help if you don't want to be helped you won't be helped even if you go through the motions if there's part of you that really doesn't want it, that wants to remain a victim, then that's how it will be. You know, whether it's a physical illness or emotional or mental or however you want to label it, they're really all connected to vibration, to resonance. But you have to want the help. And you intend that you want to overcome whatever it is you want to overcome. And then you take actions. You know, it's like any other magic spell. <laughs> and uh, you go through the, the motions of it. You invest in yourself if you need to. And, you know, that's something I've had to work on too. You know, I'm always happy to give to others. But when it comes to investing on myself, sometimes I'm like too frugal. So, yeah, you have to keep in mind that you're totally worth the investment and it all comes and goes you know like just like Sonia at Tree of Knowledge she's raising some money now even though she just really doesn't want to 
because she's just gotten put in this situation. And money is one of the energy exchange modalities that we have to use in this realm to help bring this this campaign of self-healing forward. So it's just the energy exchange method. And uh, to Sonia, you know, there's no shame in your game for doing this. She just really doesn't like it, but she's deserving. She's put out a lot of good information. And she's always been real genuine and sincere. And you can tell when people are that way. So, uh, yeah, invest in yourself if, if you need to. And get yourself healed, you know. If if you just can't overcome some issue, get yourself a Mace Energy Method practitioner and, you know, get your life back. Be you. Be who you really are. And uh, that's part of the trick of this realm is figuring that out. Who are we, really? And uh, Jason was just saying in his uh, Matrix Decode on Archaics, that the people who are waking up now, it's not because of anything that we we're doing or that we've done. It's just in the cards. It's in the prophecies. It's in the in our destiny to wake up now. So I don't know if that's true or not, but I do know that a lot of people are waking up. And uh, just because you wake up doesn't mean life gets peachy and happy kind of the opposite because you're just like WTF what <laughs> and so you know I think that's really overlooked in the truther I don't like using that word community is that aspect of doing your inner work of healing your emotional body of getting rid of these negative negative entities that are invading your thoughts that are your thoughts that you're selecting and putting out there and, and you know we have to get our frequency our resonance proper and people do talk about it like Tom Campbell and Jason but they don't really give you a way to do it that's uh, methodical and structured and that's what some of us need and even though they do give tips on what to do it's not so easy just to go through those motions and make it happen so that's why there's all this other stuff out here from our benevolent force that's in the ether with us making things happen in our favor as much as possible you know and so we have to go out there and find what works and and take care of that aspect of, in our awakening because if we're just awake and disgruntled and miserable and addicted and depressed and anxious or whatever that's not going to do a lot of good for us or anyone around us so we have to get our frequency optimal and yeah you know it's the same story every time just coming from different angles and reasons why it's so important and again you know the more of us that can get good frequencies out in the ether we our biofields go out about six feet and they entertain and you know they go out from there but that's the real strong part that's what uh, would be our informed field according to Jason and I can go out in your biofield and I can find exact ages where you've had traumas it's pretty amazing and then our biofields overlap and uh, whatever that resonance is who's ever got a little more oomph that's who's gonna win and you know it becomes a constant battle if most of the people are in a fear frequency and you go out in your love frequency it's really hard to stay there so you have to be mindful but the more of us that can do our healing and take that aspect of waking up serious the better it'll be the less people that'll be out there vibrating at fear and scarcity and greed and all kinds of debauchery but um yeah you know and then we have the whole issue of the 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 background people the npcs that just keep the system running but i don't think 
that they affect our energy, our resonance as much as real souls that are resonating at a fear frequency. So it's easier for us to keep our resonance when it's just NPCs around us trying to promote that narrative to keep this whole system going in the direction that it's going. But I still think we can change it. There is the hundredth monkey effect. There's the notion of the 144,000 with, with tons of terp interpretations about what that means. But um, it can't hurt to get your own frequency optimal and make your own life content. That's for sure, no matter what. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. Hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Remember to stay focused on what you want and help others if you can. Ciao, ciao.